Hi everybody, today we're taking a look back at the Canon EOS 7D Mark II. Canon fans waited five whole years for this upgraded model. It launched in September 2014 and received fantastic reviews. The former 7D had of course cemented itself as a legendary camera in the Canon's APS-C lineup, so the launch of the Mark II generated lots of excitement. The camera runs a 20 million pixel CMOS sensor, which you'd certainly expect on a camera of this type, which was built, of course, for speed. The ISO performance was expandable to 51,200. It's the processor that sits behind this that's interesting, though. The Canon Digic 6 process was built to deliver a truly responsive performance with minimal lag time and certainly doesn't disappoint. The processor didn't just deliver superb image quality, but it also had an upgraded and impressive AF setup. It runs a 65-point AF system, where all focus points are cross-type, which respond to both horizontal and vertical detail. Some points will also give you dual cross-type, depending on the lens that you combine it with. Low-light AF was also considered, uh, and the performance is still achievable at minus 3 EV. Canon also included advanced ITR tracking, which uses colour and face information to recognise and track subjects as they move across the frame. This is fully customizable and ensures the user experience whilst operating is both quicker and far less complicated. All of this, of course, whilst keeping up with a new top speed for stills of 10 frames per second. Another welcome addition was flicker detection. This is the kind of thing that's produced by fluorescent lights where each frame will receive a slightly different coloration. The camera detects and times each shot to ensure consistency. This was very much welcomed by indoor sports photographers, of course. In terms of video, it runs HD at 60 frames a second and includes both a headphone and microphone port. It also benefited from compact flash and SD card slots. For videographers at the time though, the most impressive feature was its dual pixel AF. And I can tell you from personal experience, this was incredibly smooth and reliable and was a new benchmark. So who was this camera for? It was certainly aimed at the content creators who were after speed. And of course, sports and wildlife certainly fits that profile. The APS-C sensor gives you that extra reach with the uncompromising support of lenses that the Canon system offers you. This camera needed to be a workhorse, and it certainly didn't disappoint. Its weather-sealed controls, mag alloy body, 100% coverage in the optical viewfinder, and general robust nature made it a main or second body favourite with pros and keen amateurs alike. It's for those reasons that this camera is held in such high regard six years after launch. Most people who've purchased them certainly hold on to them, so if you can find one, then do check it out.